Uh, Steven feels okay. Uh, um, this week will move slowly, and, and the hope is that uh, as he starts to uh, do a little bit of activity, that there's no sign of headache so far, so good. Uh, and then obviously uh, we'll see day by day how things, how he responds. So he didn't train today. Do you expect him to make the trip? Uh, my guess is no, but okay. I would wait and see. And speaking of that trip, Yankee Stadium, that field, presents a lot of problems. Christian just talked about the angles, but the size of it for a team that plays the way you do is also a problem too, no? Yeah, it's a weird field. Um, it looks cockeyed. Uh, it's small. Uh, there's a few different kinds of grass. There's a pitcher's mound. Um, <laughs> you know, there's all these different factors. So. In those ways, it, it changes the game. But the mentality for a team to go in, uh, still try to find the right ways to connect and uh, move the ball quickly, look forward. Uh, certainly on a, on a field that's that size, uh, I don't expect that the game is going to uh, have a great flow. Uh, so there, there's the importance of just uh, quick reactions, both uh, in attack and defense. Bob, with Christian getting called up, I know after last season you talked to him about him wanting to play a little bit someone like Diego Costa. What are some things you've talked to him and mentored him during the offseason? Yeah, I, I mean, with all players, um, part of the way we work is we try to, to give them examples of players that we think they can see some things that fit for them. And, and so... So much now gets uh, uh, taken the wrong way when people talk about Carlos and Messi or mm -hmm. now if we want to talk about Christian and uh, Diego Costa. But the idea is that uh, throughout my coaching career, I think that when you can find examples for a player that fits a little bit of how he plays, a little bit of his qualities uh, and use that, to help him see things that maybe he can add to his game. It's just a way of, of, of working, right? And, uh, you know, I, I think with Christian, we, we found him a few different examples. Uh, you know, we, we did use uh, Atletico Madrid across the board. We talked about Diego Costa for his ability to just know how to get an edge and, and use his body and, and be strong. We talked about Falcao for just the incredible way that he can find himself free in the box and and uh, turn up in the right spot in the right time. And we talked about Menzukic for the way that he just works for the team. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think that Christian is is exactly like any of those three, but those were just good examples for him to understand some little things that he could try to uh, add to what he does every day. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you guys dominated last game. Is there anything you, you guys wish you guys would have improved on on the 4-1 win? win over Portland? There's always things. Uh, again, there's moments where uh, in transition we can think faster, we can react faster. The, certainly the quality of, of looking forward and playing the right pass. Uh, I mean, I'll give one, one example of an area. Uh, we had some hard runs where we looked up and had the opportunity to play guys through on the move. And the final pass on a number of, uh, of those situations was too hard. So uh, the timing was good. The movement was good. Uh, you know, we talk about uh, seeing the windows going forward. All those things happen. And then the pass was just too heavy. So, you know, that, that's a good thing that we see all the positives. And now it's just uh, sharpening up a little bit in all the other areas. What's impressed you most about Carlos and the way he's approached these first couple of games? Oh, he's been so into it. I mean, he, he's been uh, taking balls and going at defenders. He's been very aggressive uh, with the way he moves forward. Uh, and then when he needs to uh, help us win the ball back, he's he's done a good job. You know, we, we always think that, that when your most talented player and your best player also is contributing and when you lose the ball to make it hard on the other team to, to help win the ball back. That says uh, a lot to everybody else on the team that, that look, this is the way we're going to play and uh, I'm leading the way to make sure that that gets done the right way all the time. So uh, he's started in a great way and has really 
uh, set a perfect example for all his teammates. It, it, the fact that he wasn't called up, is that a little bit of a blessing in disguise? He's been beat up, he gets to rest now, he doesn't have to go off and train with Mexico. Uh, look, he, every player has to figure out uh, how to handle and balance the club with the national team. And Carlos has done it for a long time, uh, and, and we just trust that you know he he knows how to handle everything. Uh, what we focus on is still trying to challenge him the right way around here, uh, and and he continues to just you know he he comes in every day. I say it over and over. He's so good with his teammates. Uh, he's pushed himself hard in training this year, so. You know, that's important for everybody else to see. So, uh, look, he's, he's a good guy and a good player. And so far, uh, he's really got us off uh, in a great direction. Has uh, Tata Martino talked to you about Carlos Vela? No. What does it mean to have 200 supporters making that cross-country trip to New York this week? That's awesome. You know, uh, look, we, we've got such a connection with our supporters. Uh, you know, we... Of course, talk always about walking into uh, Bank of California and, and the feeling when we look into the stands, the 3252. But uh, in, in a little over a year, we've had great away support. And uh, uh, I think with so many clubs around the world, away supporters uh, are special. You know, the, the effort that they make to come and and make sure that when you're in that visiting stadium, you can look to a corner and know you've got you've got people there that are with you every step of the way, man. That that is so so important, and, and we appreciate the efforts that our away supporters make. It means the world. Um, it, it means that you did something right. Um, continuing to look at, at you, um, and you're doing the correct thing. So I'm just trying to stay on track, and um, and I know that that's worrying about what happens each game here. Um, because they're always watching. Um, so just continuing to work on things that they want me to work on and that coaching staff wants me to work on. Tell me if I'm wrong, but when I saw you at the national team and then come back here, you seemed like a different player. It seemed like you were more comfortable with what Bob wanted to do because you did it with the national team for a month. You just seemed like a different player. I, am I missing something or was there something that happened in the offseason going into that national team camp that kind of flipped the switch for you? Um, no, I, I put in a lot of work in the offseason. Um, I followed Gavin and Harry's plan. Um, I did a lot of fitness um, that they wanted me to do, and um, I think I'm fitter than I've ever been. Um, and things things come easier when you're fit. Um, you can do things longer and, and work on different areas longer when, when you're fitter. Um, so it's credit to them and um, just put me through that. And, yeah, being there for a month really helped me be sharper once I got in here. Is there anything you worked on, like, tactically? I know you talked about your fitness, but is there anything you worked on tactically? Uh, no, just being, uh, I guess, more free to, to come in. Um, into certain pockets, um, but also don't don't want to invade into Carlos and Diego's spots. Um, so just finding my moments, and I think I found more moments this game than in the sporting game because sporting was so aggressive, and each game will entail something differently. Um, but I'm definitely trying to open up spaces for those guys, and um, I think we're starting to see that uh, and adding different stuff to to our offense that's making it um, easier for for them to to be productive. You scored your first goal of the season um, this past game. How is it to finally, you know, get that first goal? Uh, it's always nice. Uh, last year, I think I got my first goal seven games in. I was I was injured the, the first couple. Um, I got actually injured the first five minutes last year uh, with my ankle, but uh, it, it feels nice. It's a, it's a good way to, to start off, a um, good way to end the half uh, for us after giving up a goal, but um, it's always good to, to just help the team. Obviously, it's early in the season, but you guys are off to a great start. What do you think is different just about this group, this team? You guys seem to be complete and just really clicking. I think we have a chip on our shoulder. Um, I think we left some unfinished business last year, and a lot of the guys returned um, and are feeling by that, are being fueled by that. Um, and at the same time, I think the approach that teams are taking on us sometimes when they're more physical or uh, more defensive, it, it's really starting to, we're starting to figure that out, how to break that down. And um, I think that was a challenge that, that Bob presented to us in the off season and, and in all of preseason. Um, so it, it's been good to, to get those early results and now it'll be a good test this weekend. With expansion teams, it can be tricky. Either it really works or it totally doesn't. What do you think has worked for you guys and what's unique about this group of guys? And you're kind of finding that in the second year. 
Yeah, I think I've been on a roller coaster with expansion teams coming from Minnesota to here and um, seeing what things they did, what things this club did that worked. Uh, I, I think there's a foundation that, that Bob really sees and from the top to the bottom that, that they, they built and it's bought in every single day um, that they continue to, to build on even when the results don't go a certain way that they want. They continue to believe in them and um, I think that's something really important that, that they're sticking to. And you're having a great game, but uh, Carlos as well. What has been so exciting about watching him and how great he's been? Yeah, he, he had an okay game. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, he's, he's our, our leader. Um, uh, that's why he's here. Um, that's why he, he's up there with the MVPs of the league and why he's pushing for that. Um, and it's pretty cool to see how motivated he is to, to try and reach that because um, we all know he can he can get there. Um, and it, when he puts on performances like he did that game, I think we're pretty tough to beat. Um, so it, it's awesome to see. I saw some people on TV calling him the most talented and the best player in the MLS. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't see why not. Um, I think they, in the broadcast, they were comparing him in the Audi index or something that he led that last year. Um, but he also led that he got the most fouls last year. So, uh, so teams are definitely after him, um, and I know we're watching him. Uh, but we'll go as far as he takes us, and, and he knows that. And I think that's something that um, he's accepted and, and he's taken upon himself. What's the mentality? Just to keep building. Um, uh, we know going on the road is going to be tough. Um, New York City is a good side. They they got their their stadium that presents its own challenges. Um, but we just got to go in and with the same mindset that we've had the first couple of games and continue to build off that. Um, how is it? Obviously, you guys can play at Yankee Stadium. I know we were talking earlier. Uh, is that is there anything you've learned about that stadium that may be smaller, may not be pitch regulation? Uh, I think it meets all the regulations, but it's it just throws you off a little bit. Um, uh, I played there once, and it just throws you off just because it's a little angled um, a certain way. Um, so that presents a challenge in itself, but at the end of the day, um, it's regulation size, regulation goals, so we, we can't use that as an excuse. We just have to go out there and, and produce and get a win out there. Carlos has his own way of leading. How would you describe him as a leader? Uh, he's a very likable guy, makes everybody like him. Um, he's never going to be in your face yelling at you or any of that stuff, but he leads definitely by example. Um, when he gets out here in practice, he's a serious guy, and he picks his moments to have fun and joke with you uh, when you're having a water break or anything like that. Uh, but when, when he gets going, uh, it, everybody knows that he means business, and um, I think that's a story that, that people don't really see that on the outside. Um, how much of a leader he, he is because they expect leaders to, to be in your face and be vocal and, and he's opposite, um, but he, he's definitely a good leader.